Hey, sports fans, this just in. Apparently, the use of sassy language is now deemed to be a safety issue. And just wait until you hear what happened to former Toronto Blue Jays player Kelly Gruber. Why is everything that's deemed as being the slightest bit offensive is now classified as some sort of a safety issue these days? You know the drill, free speech on campus is routinely shut down if the speech in question involves right of center viewpoints. Oh, it's not a censorship issue or anything like that. You see folks, it's a safety issue. Given that some social justice snowflakes might get triggered and that might make them act out violently and that will lead to a safe space on campus becoming an unsafe space. And since employing enough security to deal with the malcontents would be terribly expensive, it's perhaps best for all concerned that the event gets scuttled. Safety first, after all. But it would appear that when it comes to something as innocuous as a retired baseball player busting the chops of a couple of sportscasters, well, <laughs> this too is supposedly a safety issue as well. Case in point, earlier this month, the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame actually removed former Toronto Blue Jays star Kelly Gruber from its induction festivities after he uttered so-called controversial comments during a panel discussion. Oh my, that sounds serious. What did Kelly Gruber do? Advocate genocide? Did he mock the Holy Quran? Oh, hardly. Here's an excerpt of Kelly just being Kelly and trying to inject some frivolity into a panel discussion that seemed to be about as exciting as paint drying. Because you gotta have me, huh? They want you. Yeah. You know. So I... Hey, we don't really need this girl here, right? Wow, respect at an all-time high, I see. Well, yeah, well, I'm not buying for a job. Oh, you're oh. in a pleasant mood today, Kelly. Well, Hi, nice to meet you. So, um, <laughs> can I ask a question real quick? Please, sure. yeah. I know it's your show, sorry. Do I you? I'm just kidding, just playing. Well, we from Texas, we're, we, we play, we have fun. It's, actually, you know, hanging out with guys like Mo, there's a lot of ribbon going on. And if you give it, you gotta be willing to take it, so. I can take whatever you got. But you, my friend, real quick, you replace Zani? Who's that? Okay. We got to work on the wardrobe. It's, What's wrong it's with it? It's a big shoe to fill with. Wow. <laughs> no, is it good? Who? I just found out Mo told me. You took uh, whatever that guy's name is. Yeah, I choose to plead the fifth on that. And it's good? It's working? Uh, yeah. Is it fun? What's the, yeah, the job is talking baseball. It's the I Blue don't Jays. know, man. I'm living in Texas. I'm trying to catch up. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Thanks for asking. She got a break yeah. now. See, she's okay. happy. I think I just need a drink you're, before you're I move ahead. on because that was a, an interesting introduction. Okay. Let's talk a little bit of Blue Jays baseball, you guys. Um, Kevin, I'm going to start with you. We're going to talk about the Jays. Hey, as far as I can tell, Kelly was just hamming it up. Maybe it was funny. Maybe it was unintentionally funny which, by the way, is the best kind of funny. Maybe it was downright embarrassing, but whether it was unfunny or cringe-inducing, at the very least, it was entertaining, at least by the current benchmark by which we now measure interviews with athletes these days, which goes like this. How's it going out there, Johnny? And Johnny's answer is inevitably cliched crap along the lines of, it's do or die, but we're playing to win, or, Everyone on this team is giving 110%. Whoa, riveting. Now, Gruber obviously wanted to shake things up a tad, but get this, just for uttering those comments, Gruber was actually later frog-marched out of the venue just for doing, um, what did he do exactly? But check out the statement from Homeland Sports founder Kevin Kennedy, who actually thought it was incumbent upon him to issue a press release to address this so-called incident Quote, it is our firm belief that no one should be made to feel uncomfortable, unsafe, or should endure forms of harassment, whether it be in the workplace, at home, or on the street. End quote. Unsafe. There's that word again. And in relation to what? Impolite language? 
Gee, I thought doing electrical work without turning the power off was a safety issue or swimming in shark infested waters, but a retired baseball player taking a few playful jabs? That seemed to be a safety issue? Give me a break. And for what it's worth, I thought the hosts handled themselves just fine. Ashley Docking didn't curl up into the fetal position and weep. Rather, she shot right back at Gruber, sarcastically stating, respect at an all-time high, I see, and you're in a good mood today, Kelly. Clearly, Docking was no damsel in distress. But you'd think that was the case, given the language used in the press release apologizing for this day of baseball infamy. Quote, the homestand team, including talent and crew, is a family with a shared love for sports. We look out for each other and we have a zero tolerance policy for hatred and bullying, including sexism and harassment of any kind, end quote. Holy Harvey Weinstein, sexism, hatred, harassment, bullying? You know, I think these descriptors are tossed around in such a cavalier manner these days that they've actually lost all their meaning. Maybe it's because sports has become such a huge business these days that there's no room for characters or colorful comments anymore. Or maybe because the current generation of broadcasters were schooled in such a politically correct bubble wrap biosphere that they can't even cope with a conversation that's not dripping in mind-numbing cliches and feel-good poppycock. What a shame, because at the end of the day, Sports is all about entertainment, and in the entertainment business, you've got to be good, or bad, or so bad that you're good, but the cardinal sin, the unforgivable fault, is to be boring, and that's what political correctness ultimately leads to. Mind-numbing, soul-destroying boredom. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a brand new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.